Okay guys, here's Torsten. I hope you are well. Today's video is a special video. I bought the G900 from Logitech. I couldn't hold off. It's not like I wanted to buy this mouse, I had to buy this mouse. Logitech promises that this is a wireless mouse that uh, in a lot of cases has less lag than wired mice and it comes at a very premium price of around $150 if you buy it on Amazon.com so my expectations are very high not only to the performance of the wireless but also starting with the packaging so I'm not a big fan of unboxing videos but for this special case I will do an, a quick unboxing of the mouse so let's get right into it all right, I already pulled off the plastic. We, we got the packaging here. It already feels quite premium. Let's slide off the, the cover. You got the box here. All right, it opens up in this direction. Okay, already nice presentation. Uh, you got the mouse here. I will give you a, a more detailed overview after I have connected the mouse, but um, taking it out of the box, a very premium feel to it. Kind of a rubberized, um, not glossy feel, very nice. Let's put it to the side for the moment. Um, you got the box here, let's take that out. Um, below that you got the manual, the warranty card and um, all right, the USB cable which also acts as a, uh, a cable to, to use the mouse as a wired mouse so it's not only a charging cable like it is uh, with some mice and then what else do we got? We got the uh, box here, which... Uh, let's take it out. Um, so, alright, we got the USB dongle in here, which connects to the mouse to the PC, obviously. And then, uh, alright, so we got a cover for the side buttons and actually side buttons. So, yeah, this is a special feature of the mouse because it's uh, made for left-handed users and uh, right-handed users. So what you can do is you can have uh, both functional buttons on the left and the right. You can cover them on the right or you can cover all of the buttons actually. Because uh, sometimes you have a problem if you are, uh, let's say, right-handed, you have the function buttons here on the left and then uh, you use the mouse like this and uh, sometimes accidentally you press the, the buttons on the right. Some people don't like that. So Logitech has found a nice solution of actually including a cover uh, which completely covers the right buttons. So that's a very, very nice feature. Okay, I'm gonna connect the mouse now to my PC, install the drivers, and after that uh, I'm gonna continue my videos. Hold on a sec, guys. All right, I haven't installed the drivers yet, but I wanted to show you part of the setup process because after plugging in the USB cable and the wireless dongle and turning on the mouse, it already worked. So this is really plug and play. Uh, I don't like it when you buy one of those uh, premium products and you have to install the drivers and it's a pain actually to get the device recognized, but this really worked out of the box. You connect the USB cable, the wireless dongle to the USB cable, turn on the mouse and you can already, like you see, use the mouse. It already feels very smooth and I haven't even installed the drivers yet and uh, honestly I can't feel any lag so far. So the promises are, are true as it seems now, but let me install the drivers now and uh, I'm gonna continue my video then. Okay, I have installed the drivers now for the G900 and uh, the software looks very similar or it's the same than with any other mice uh, from Logitech. Basically you can save your profiles here, you can adjust the performance, the DPI settings and uh, the polling rate. Uh, I always use 1600 dpi, so I reduce the dpi levels to only one level. You can adjust, uh, assign different functions to the buttons. At the moment you see the layout of the mouse, um, even that is featured here in the driver. It's only with the left buttons to the side. You can have uh, the layout that uh, you have the buttons on the left and the right side, the right side or not at all. Then you have some extra functions like the lightning settings, um, you can change the color cycling effect, it's RGB lighting, uh, you can turn on off the logo or the DPI. I'm not really interested in that, uh, so I'm not going into detail in that. You have a, an indicator for the battery life, it's just uh, came out of the box, it's 63%. Um, the driver tells me that this will be up for 16 hours. Um, then you have a surface tuning, 
function here in the driver um, I'm gonna try that out later and then we have the gaming functions the analysis software actually uh, I'm not gonna turn that on at the moment um, the, my main focus is gonna be if actually a wireless mouse feels as responsive uh, as a wired mouse and of course there are a lot of uh, reviews already on YouTube so um, I've already heard from a lot of people that they cannot tell the difference between a wired mouse and uh, the G900 and I'm very interested to, uh, to experience that myself I have loaded up Battlefront uh, in the background this is the FPS shooter I've been playing in the last couple of months the most so I'm very familiar with it and I have all loaded up a solo mission so that there's no lag due to some multiplayer sometimes if you play on a server in a different country the game can feel a little bit laggy it doesn't uh, translate into the mouse movement but nevertheless I've selected a solo mission so alright let's go into the game so okay let me start with some very slow movements um, very accurate I, I zoom in oh yeah oh yeah this is a win this mouse is definitely a win I cannot feel any lag like I said I have a 144 Hertz monitor for all of you guys who are concerned about the lag of a mouse and they don't have a 144 Hertz monitor they will not be able to make the perfect comparison anyway because if it, with a 60 Hertz monitor the mouse will always feel more laggy than with a higher refresh monitor um, and I'm very very sensitive when it comes to lag and refresh rate and I can tell you guys I don't feel any any lag compared to a wired mouse I just played this game 30 minutes ago with my Razer Death Adder uh, which is a very very popular mouse and uh, I can tell you uh, there's definitely no, no noticeable lag if you I, I would bet no pro player could tell the difference if you put this mouse into the same casing let's say of a, a Razer Death Adder and you attach a fake wire to the mouse you will never be able to feel the difference in my book this is a major win alright guys and this is my final conclusion of the G900 after my first impressions of the responsiveness of the mouse I sat back and uh, played another four hours or so of Battlefront. Spending 150 bucks on a mouse is a really good motivator to just like the mouse no matter what. But I really wanted to make sure that I get the accurate opinion of the G900. It's really hard in, to describe in words how good this mouse actually is. Just imagine all those FPS cats out there. If you were thinking about a wireless mouse so far, you were always in your head making a distinction between a wired and a wireless mouse. You were always thinking in terms of if you were using a wireless mouse, oh well for a wireless mouse it's a good mouse. If you had for instance the Razer Mamba. But I tell you the Logitech G900 completely shatters this distinction. You might have seen some other videos on YouTube that actually show you the labs of Logitech where they measure the responsiveness, the lag of the different mice, wired mice compared to the G900 and you might have been thinking that this is a marketing gimmick and that the actual life experience with the G900 might still be inferior to your wired mouse, a death adder whatsoever. And the results of the Logitech labs that said that actually the G900 would have less lag than all the wired mice out there, I have to tell you guys, believe me, I think it is true, you will not be able to tell the difference between a half of a millisecond if the mouse is less or more laggy than a wired mouse. But subjectively everything tells me that this is actually true. I think this is the most responsive mouse I have ever owned. And this is me comparing the G900 to my other daily drivers, the Logitech G302, the Razer Death Adder and the Razer Abyssus. Also something that is very special about this mouse is the build quality. The high quality of this mouse expands to all other areas as well. The buttons for instance have special mechanics. No matter at which position you push a button you will always have to apply the same pressure to actually execute the click. With other mouse buttons you have the problem that at the far end of the button you will have to apply less pressure and at the lower end you have to push harder. The only thing you really have to try out with this mouse 
is the form of the mouse, the size of the mouse. Every person's hands are different and you have to make the decision yourself if it is a comfortable mouse for you to hold. But this goes actually for every mouse out there. And my final verdict for the mouse is a full 10 out of 10. This is not the best wireless mouse out there. This is the best mouse I've ever laid my hands on. I have never actually come across a gaming peripheral that screams perfection at every angle and every corner. And still using the mouse now really shows me what kind of perfection Logitech was able to pull off by developing this mouse. I know the mouse is super expensive, but if you want to do something good to you as a gamer and really want to bring your gaming to the next level, I can't actually recommend the G900 highly enough. And please guys understand, I did buy this mouse with my own money. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked the review, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you in my next video. Have a good one guys.